missed being here. Yes, New York, but also here on YouTube. There's so much to catch up on because so much time has passed. I could continue being offline, but there's always this part of me that calls out and reminds me that I love doing this. So, here I am again, starting over in a city that I love at the end of an offline era. I promise I'll tell you all about my life situation, but for now, let's enjoy where I currently am. New York in the winter, living alone with a cute cat named Whiskey in a super cool and creative apartment, enjoying my bagel with salmon. Some of my friends are here to visit, so I'm meeting up with them. I hope that you enjoy this vlog and stick until the end. In Chinatown in New York, meeting up with Ray and friends and sister probably. Just figuring out how to get around here. And I kid you not, last year I was here for fall and I didn't think I'd love winter so much. But still, the colors are so alive and I am still very much in love with New York. I'll be your personal um, vlogger. I love the subway. I love how you can get from anywhere in the city on foot, how you have time to yourself inside for reading or listening to music, how there are a lot of people to make you feel safe, but not too many to make you miss your ride. Speaking of people, I like how everyone here moves with intention, almost like a flow, and I'm part of that whenever I'm in the subway. What is that? I love pumpkin pie. After our trip to the store, we hung out in my friend's cousin's place and I met his dog Cosmo. All of us walked to a Japanese restaurant for dinner and the food was good. For the price, maybe not so good. Compared to Japanese food in Manila, I find it to be pretty average, but that's... It's just New York's really expensive, that's what it's like here. And there are really great places to eat, but they cost way more than my budget for a spontaneous food trip or date with friends. I know it's a thing to do here in New York, but I'm still wrapping my head around why I should pay so much for food that tastes the same as the food in Manila, yet costs 5 to 10 times the price sometimes. I've always been very stingy on food since it doesn't last long, but maybe it's something I can spend more on for the experience. To learn how to appreciate things even if they don't last forever. Or maybe I can stay stingy and just learn how to cook better. Anyway.
we went to Muji, so I got a few things. So I got the 2023 Muji planner in the size B5. And let me just grab my 2022 planner. It's exactly the same. This is the 2023 and this is my 2022 Muji planner. And I put stickers on it from places that I went to, artists that made art that certain year that I really like. And it's really full. I put pictures for every week and I've been doing this for years as many of you know. And then my friend Ray picked up these notebooks. These aren't really notebooks. They're like loose leaf pads from Muji and they were so cheap and I love Muji paper. So this is really convenient for note taking. You can like rip off the page afterwards and this is the kind of notebook paper that I use. The cap type Muji 0.3 black pen. Currently my go-to pen for journaling. And then we ended up going to Uniqlo. I got this a bag that I've been wanting to get for a while. And then I also got reusable bags from Uniqlo. I got two large ones and one medium ones. And yeah, that's what I got yesterday. Also, I just want to share that aside from the Muji planner, I'm also using my first Hobonichi planner, which is crazy. I got this with my friend Megan and Rocio. I'm so excited to be trying out the Hobonichi planner. Let me know if you guys want like a little tour of my setup. I do have multiple covers, so that's exciting. Yeah, so today we're gonna be going to the West Village and then we're gonna go to a bookstore. I'm finally gonna be buying a book from Strand, which is one of the famous bookstores here in New York. I went there last year and didn't buy a book. So <laughs> this year we're gonna buy a book because I have more of an idea of what I like to read. So yeah, let's have fun today. for this prompt got me flowing into a lot of subtopics about my beliefs about relationships so let's not get too psychological and deep about it because i might start citing research on attachment so here are some of the main things i learned about myself i'll be fine i guess one of my biggest fears growing up was that my lack of a conventionally complete family would make it harder for me to be in a relationship that wasn't the case. In life, I've learned that growing up in a complete family doesn't always mean you'll end up making one, nor does growing up in a quote-unquote broken family mean that you don't have the tools to be in a healthy relationship or be a healthy partner. My past relationships taught me that I don't have to be afraid that I can be in a healthy relationship because I can put in the work, because I want to put in the work. If anything, I think my fear made me work harder at learning how to be a better partner. Like I said, I'm fine. Also, I learned that I thrive in many areas in my life in a secure relationship, but am held back in those same areas in a toxic relationship. This observation is more of a way I can check up on myself in the future to make sure I'm in a healthy, supportive relationship. 
the last thing I'd like to share is that I learned that relationships take a lot of my time and energy if I give it and a lot of times I want to give it so I should make sure to set aside time for myself my loved ones and my dreams before I offer it all to another human being whenever that may be right now I'm just chilling no pressure no forcing things just happy to be here The friends, you know, with the sweet and chili sauce. I like how my mom. Okay. We're not using pork. Oh! <laughs> what did you get? Banana. Academia. We ended up going to uh, like a bar area. I wanted to go to this music bar, but we were all talking outside for so long that the gig that I wanted to watch was already done. <laughs> So we ended up going to this bar and drinking, having fun. It was a pretty cool bar and everyone kind of got into different groups. We were playing uh, rock, paper, scissors while the two boys met these two girls. Uh, they're pretty cool. It was really interesting to hear about uh, their lives. They're actually visiting from London and I got to talk to the girl in blue and she's like, not like, she's actually a lawyer there. So she was telling us like how it is there and how it's different. She even showed us a picture of her in the wig. Pretty cool. And this is us trying to be just. <laughs> <laughs> they were quite strong though. <laughs> This is the end of this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please make sure to click the thumbs up and subscribe if you have not yet. That's all that I have for you guys today. I hope I see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe, sane, and inspired. Hugs and besos.